While the US government pledged $4 billion to a self-driving car program, you probably missed the gas leak that's clearing out SoCal, the suitcase smart enough to follow you home, and NASA's robotic answer for exploring planets. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where our dreams of rolling up to the planet exploration party looking like bosses were just replaced by the sad slithering truth. Nope. NASA just took out a patent for a new type of squishy amorphous robot. These kind of worm bots can change their shape and are less susceptible to damage from small particles. That makes them useful in dusty environments like disaster zones, and oh yeah, probably Mars. That's important since a rover got stuck in sand there back in 2009. Again, we have worms or this. Good luck keeping up. We just look kind of uncool, that's all I'm saying. Are you tired of hauling your luggage through the airport like some kind of schmuck? It won't be long until you look like a more normal human with the newer robotic smart suitcase. It pairs with a phone over Bluetooth and autonomously shadows travelers as they move through the terminal. Its creators expect the self-rolling bags to be ready for consumers in about a year. Yet, there's still no easy way to use tech for when you arrive overseas and your dumb Americans start showing. Sí, mira, allí, a la puerta del fondo, a la derecha, y la cuarta. El baño, todo tuyo. Our Spanish and gadget colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. California has it all surf, mountains, droughts, and now the largest gas leak ever recorded. Researchers recently drove around Los Angeles with a natural gas analyzer to create this visual map. Since the SoCal gas leak was discovered in October, 80,000 metric tons of methane have escaped into the atmosphere. That's equal to 800 million gallons of burned gasoline. Thousands of families have been evacuated, and the FAA has even banned low-flying planes. So they don't end up like, you know. Michael Bay presents explosions. And finally, we missed seeing the Infinidec for gaming at CES, but one person who did not, the very casually dressed Palmer Lucky, founder of the Oculus Rift headset. Much like the OmniDeck, the Infinidec appears to let users travel in any direction on its treadmill, even if they're not wearing first-person shooter tactical footwear or anything close to it. Nope, whatever you strolled off the beach in is fine, I guess. It's been a rough week for irreplaceable British icons, but Alan Rickman makes me the saddest of them all. And since I'm a muggle. This episode was brought to you by Go90. 